Because what we're doing right now is it for yesterday, but for tomorrow. And with that being said, thank you all for coming, and we hope you enjoy the show.
expensive. It's like I didn't have a roommate. You practically live at Evie. No, dude. I don't know how to tell my parents. It's so simple to find out. We'll have to do it in your other classes. I mean, I passed writing on 50 and calculus, but you're going to ask about my pre-med classes. Nah, just don't tell them. What? I'm not going to lie to my parents like that. We're going to find out anyways. Well, you know, the first few semesters, they just try to weed you out. Maybe it's not as bad as you think. You should just stick it out. Oh, dude. I still haven't gone through the motions. It's a crappy feeling, feeling like quiz after quiz. I mean, sometimes I feel that way during it. Oh, oh, modern, modern literature. I'm not even I can't even pass my core classes. That means you started doing anything else? I thought you said your parents didn't want you to go to med school.
They're looking back through always the golden child. You never knew the struggles I had to go through as the eldest. I pursued what I thought would make me happy, but I failed. I've lost my appetite. Let's go. Uh, Stand up. Why can't Nate and Minnie study what they like? I can't! Jacob, because we, we can't, can't afford it! 
X amount of hours. In reality, it's hard to quantify the fact that she helped us so rhythmically for free, but we had no means of repaying her. So how did you pay her back? By doing small things like calling her or just visiting her for a birthday. I think I get it now. That's probably why they want to get a good job after I graduate. But I don't think you should be a doctor because of that. You should be a doctor because you want to be a doctor. Or we so you have to make it count. Well, after taking these classes, I don't want to study go. Do it! All the progress and sacrifice a family has made, whether it's going here to America or going here to school, you study this moment in time. You have to keep pushing, Nico. I'm scared, Nico. Okay, how about this? When I was younger, I did it. You can't let the fear of failure stop you from doing what will make you great. You can't succeed without the fear of failure. You must pursue your goals and take risks. A lot of people will play the stop, but you shouldn't. Do what will make you great. Do what's happy, hard, uncomfortable, scary. Be willing to fail. Let yourself fail. Fail the place of weight where you would want to fail. Fail, pick yourself up and fail again. Without this struggle, it's success anyway. As best as we know it, we only have one life. In it, you have to trust your own voice, your own ideas, your own honesty, your own vulnerability. And through this, we'll find our way. You don't have to be fearless, but don't let fear stop you. Do this, and I guarantee you look back on a life well lived. <laughs>
My name is Joseph Pan Laxon. Ariana Gaila Bayangos. Zarina Marie Della Torre. Maria Darla Louise Cruz Zacharias. Diana Isabel Tionco Bantugan. Haley Carolyn Jose. Isaac Zachariah Hoyo Hoy. Jacqueline Antiporta Mayuga. Jerica Doctolero Manuel. Jose Lorenzo Devesa Alaris. Kevin Domingo Samara. Marcos Tafoya. Matthew Bernard Agdepa Cacho. Michelle Aquino Agkamaran. Maria Paulina Espinoza Berlangen. Rachel Camille Kamenine. Rachel Ann Santos. Raven Medina Castro. My family is my rock, just in, just in one sentence. There are aspects of like each and every person in my family, I think, that I really look up to, but I think if I had to pick one, I would say my dad. My tata showed me how to work hard, how to be a, a good man, be a man of honor. He just inspires me to be a better person. He taught me how to like work at something really hard, but also stay really humble. And he just like, he's just like a super nice dude. Like he'll like walk in to like Seafood City or something and be like, Bane or something. <laughs> like 
he, he's just like super friendly and I think that's where I get everything from. You can have a Mercedes Benz, whatever. You could have had a big house, but no, he decided to pay for private school tuition for my sisters and I. And just that alone, just that those like sacrifices, just that determination to put this, put us through school, that selflessness, that's what I look up to the most about him. He's definitely more on the quiet side and um, the way like he really shows his love for my family is through food. So um, every time like I come home, I'm like excited to see um, like the food on the table and like how he goes all out with his meals. He was, he was just telling me about like, just talking about life in general and he's like, Oh, even if I don't eat breakfast that much anymore, like as long as you have something on your plate, and as long as you're going to school, then um, that's all. That's 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 good enough for me. My dad has basically been like the epitome of what a good dad should be. Um, he works really hard, and he doesn't um, get thanked enough for that, whether in work or through us as his kids. He's always been like this solid figure uh, for me, and so. Like I know, like I could always like go and call him and like he would give me like very sound advice and he always like taught me to like, like be super strong. Always made sure that I was entertained and happy and knew that, you know, my life was, you know, normal and that, cause you know, it's hard being without, without that dad figure, but my brother tried his best, even though he's only 10 years older than me to you know, be that for me. I guess I look up to my mom a lot because um, she worked really hard to get me to where I am. She's a very patient, very nice person and she just always wants the best for me. She never really made me feel like anything was missing in my life. All of her, all of her efforts were to raising all of us kids, making sure that we were good adults and that we could really make a, make a name for ourselves. My mom always made me do my best, you know, like some some families it was always, you know, the parents were like their child's friend, you know, best friend and all that. My mom, she was always, no, I'm, I'm your mother first, I'll be your friend later or never in some cases. Being here and realizing that like all of that, she did it because she loved me, um, that really like makes me appreciate like all the sacrifices that she made. I call her like whenever I had the chance. I call her more than my mom, more than my dad, more than anybody else in my family. And last, she passed away last summer, and it was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to go through. Like I've had to go through like my grandma, my mom's side passing away, and I thought that was kind of hard. But it turned out that like my auntie passing away, like sad to say, it was like even harder for me to go through. I always felt this responsibility to um, pick a major that was for sure gonna help me make a bank and give back to my family. That's like the one thing, the number one thing I had in mind. Right now as an accounting major, I'm looking toward becoming the first business professional in my family. And right now it's being an industrial engineer, I guess. Um, but other than that, working to support my family in the Philippines as well because my cousins all really look up to me and they inspire me as well. I hope that when I become a doctor and I can take care of myself that I can ultimately take care of them when they get older. You can't bank it all on a maybe for your future. It has to be um, something that you know is going to pay off in the end and I think it's tough to be on either side of that to force yourself to do something you don't really enjoy just to secure a future. And it's also tough to walk away from what you want to do because you feel a responsibility to make a better future for yourself and for your family. To be honest, it's not really something that I enjoy doing. I'm just doing it because I know that's what my dad did and it would make me successful and I would make them proud because of it. But I'm still trying to find what would make me happy. I think right now what I, I feel like is really important is to be able to, you know, understand myself and to love myself before I can start thinking about what I want. No matter where I am, like no matter what I end up doing, accounting or not, I just want to be happy and be with those who love me and who I love as well. I'm also working towards just being a better person and finding people 
who support me and are similar and like people I connect with, you know, building like longer lasting relationships and not just like superficial ones, you know. Something that I like pride myself in is like my ability to just like love people. I really like love the people in my life and um, I think I learned that from my family. I just know that making them proud is one of my most important priorities because they've given up so much for me that I really just want to show that I I can do things. I can I can be the son that they always knew that I could be. I know like I can't give back fully. Um, like and like, even out like what you guys did for me. So like I want to try to at least give back what you've got. Give back what you've given to me. This this whole show or everything that I do in um, at USC, it seems like it's for you. Uh, Mom, I know I don't really call as much as I I'm supposed to, but you know that I love you, and I'm doing my best here to be able to achieve my goals. Thank you so much for you know, supporting me and being here. And to my brother, thank you for not like, for not stopping pushing me forward and giving me all those hard lectures and making me cry. So, because all of those things have made me a better person. I love you. <laughs> That's like really awkward because I don't say it that much um, or as often as I really should. Something that wasn't like thrown a lot around my childhood was like, I love you because my family never really shared their feelings to another. I don't know why, maybe just because they didn't want to like bother me with their problems. So I would just tell them I love you. I love them very much and that I'm thankful for everything that they've done for me, even though I haven't showed it as much as I should have. Just know that I'm super grateful for like all the support and like the love that you've you guys have given me throughout my whole life. I just, I like don't know how to thank you. If somehow we did have a choice in picking our families, you know, I, I definitely would choose them. Just thank you. Love you. I miss you guys so much. It's very simple, but thank you and I love you guys. <laughs> Perfect.
thank you all so much for coming. Uh, we're going to have the bows, but first we'd like to say a few thank yous. First of all, we'd like to thank the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce for coming out and sponsoring us.
the executive board of Toy Philippines. Without them, none of this would be possible. Troy 5 theme song, written by Joel Gutierrez.